I want to talk about enterprise, 5G, Red Hat, some of the things you're going to touch on on stage. But first, Sprint is suing you yeah. over this 5G E thing that's become so controversial in the wireless industry. Um, you still holding to the position that 5G E is the, is the right way to label this service? Yeah, uh, since the last time we spoke, 5G Evolution um, is now going to be available on the iPhone as well. And I think that, um, as I said, our customers really want to understand the network characteristics they're on. And so the 5G evolution is really demonstrating to them that the customer is in a profoundly better network experience. And we're, we're seeing customer delight with that. We're seeing great feedback from our customers. And that, at the end of the day, that's what matters the most. Okay. So the last cycle, I think it was more a 0.5 strategy. You, you decided not to go 4.5G and go 5GE. Right. Well, we looked at a, a, a number of different options for the naming convention, you know, 4.5, LTE+. Plus. Uh, customers resonated with 5G evolution. Um, and so we're, we're seeing a tremendous lift in network performance. I think for an average city that has 5G evolution, it's between two and seven times the speeds. So right. it's dramatic. Well, we'll continue to, to follow this yeah. tussle between uh, the big carriers. Here, uh, you guys are talking about cloud Mm -hmm. and about the legacy data that you guys are, are, are moving to the next phase. H how does Red Hat fit into that? Because a lot of investors are, are looking at what happens when IBM and Red Hat get together. Yeah, so if you look at the, the situation with AT&T and IBM, we are close partners. We go to market together. We're big customers of each other. We supply each other. And so they have a really good understanding of our native environment, particularly the complexity of the legacy environment. And so when you look at moving um, in a hybrid fashion, some things will be born in the cloud, but some need to be moved to the cloud. And I think that the combination of Red Hat and its technology with IBM's understanding of our operations and some of the things, uh, the assets that they've been acquiring, um, it's a really good fit for us as we start to move our legacy environments into the cloud. You just today are announcing, I believe, uh, that Minneapolis and Chicago, you're adding those two metro areas to the 5G list uh, right. for, for 2019. You're going to roll out in those areas. And you've also said that you expect the enterprise to be the first big kind of opportunity for AT&T right. as you move to these markets. Why the enterprise and what sorts of businesses are going to be the ones you're going to hope are going to adopt it first? Yeah. So if you think about each time that I, I bump into you, we have more cities. We did 12 in the fourth quarter. We added seven uh, around CES, and we add two more today. So it seems like meeting you is a trigger for launching more cities. So, uh, but it, what we, we have seen is a lot of demand uh, for enterprises that are, want to take their, um, the business that they're in, their core business, and say, I want to take this to another level. Because it's not about phones yet. It's, it's not about phones yet. It's about a business saying, hey, can, can I dot, dot, dot? And this is the, yes, you can, you can network. And so when you look at it, there's a whole bunch of really compelling things that 5G will do. It'll be the Wi-Fi killer. It will allow enterprises to have massive sensor networks on site, if that's the type of thing that would enhance your business. And so we've seen a lot of demand. We have roughly 40 of these use cases, and every week or two, you're hearing an announcement. I mean, we you think did, it can save them money operationally, where they won't have to deploy Wi-Fi. It'll be 5G. Correct. It might save them money, but it might create a whole new experience. So, if okay. you look at the Dallas Cowboys, we have the first 5G stadium that just got up last week. And so, what the Cowboys envision is they're going to create a whole new new set of fan experiences that wouldn't exist any other way. And so, for some, it's revolutionizing their business. We also announced this week with uh, Vetus that we're going to provide for end of life care some experiences that will for the the folks that are that they're managing in their care system mm. it'll provide them the ability to visit places and travel from from a chair if you will right and so we, we just keep reality. finding more businesses um, are calling us saying hey can we and our res standard response with 5g is yes you can